you're ready when they need you. Huh? It's really just watching other guys. I mean, whether you plan or not, it's great like this. Watching practice when you out or watching the games and see what the other guys do just to know what to do. Because guys like Mike and Mom in my position, they're really good at you know what they do. So you really watch them. So when you get in the game, it's, it's a lot easier. So. Um, the bench has, in general, had such a hard time this season. Um, what do you think? What do you think is going to be needed for the, you know, for the bench to, to hold up its end the rest of the season? Um, defensive mentality. We got to want to. Um, when we get them in the game, we can't let can't let the intensity drop off. Even though we might not score as well as the starters, we can't let the defensive intensity. Defense is just a want to. Mm -hmm. So when we get in the game, we just got to want to play defense and don't let the um, league or whatever the score is don't let it slip too far. I remember you uh, talking about how many different positions you played over the over the course of time at, at VCU. Mm -hmm. Is there any carryover value? I mean, they, they, they plug you into different situations here. The fact that you've always been, you know, that, that Shaka asked you to be a certain adaptive sort of person. Yeah, ever since I got to VCU, they asked me to, you know, know basically all the positions. So just that really helped me when I got here. They asked me to do the same. So I knew already how to watch different positions, know what to do, and kind of jump into whatever position they put me in. So I think, yeah, VCU really helped me in that situation. Back spasms over the last couple of weeks? I don't know. Um, woke up, you know, back was tight. You know, they did a great job of just, you know, stretching me out, you know, going through, you know, going through the treatment. And like I said, it felt great tonight. So I, I really can't say what brought it on. Just, just locked up in. Steven said that he, uh, that he went and walked over to you last night when you were running sprints and said, "You ready?" And he said, "You, you said something like tomorrow. I tomorrow, promise." Yeah, I promise you, yeah, because <laughs> I ran and they stepping up on me again a little bit. So, I, mm -hmm. but I knew the way that that it felt that you know today I'll be ready. Trevor, what changed for you guys there in the third quarter? Um. We went, we went on a run. Like I said, we, they went on their run. And like I said, we called timeout. We, like I said, it's just a want to. Like I said, we started to get stops. We started to make shots. And we got the momentum running, and we just went on from there. Good did it feel to get this one going into Chris's break, where it's kind of Coach Shock, this is kind of like the third way point of the season. Get this one going to the break and kind of refresh yourselves a little bit. Going into Christmas is always good um, to get a win. Now, you know, the second part of the, you know, of the season where, like Coach said, from Christmas break to All-Star weekend, we, we try to go on a run and then go on from there. Did Dwight say anything to you guys last night about how his finger was feeling, or did you get a chance to see how screwed up it was at all? Not really. Like I said, he came, he came and said, you know, he, he looked at it, felt weird. You know, he got it fixed and, you know, played great tonight. Obviously, it was a great team win. Um, everybody contributed, hung in the game, back-to-back. Uh, -back, obviously, it's a, uh, it's a tough thing because uh, you're fighting fatigue, you're fighting travel. They're doing the same exact thing. The game started off slow and ugly, but um, I was really proud of the guys for staying with it. And I mean, everybody who was out there made a big play, whether it was Kemba on the uh, little bump back for the three-point shot, Dwight in his post-up game and his free throw shooting, MCW with a big rebound and two big free throws. Travion was awesome. Frank was great. Um, everybody who played uh, really contributed, and it was a good win. Steven, you said that guys don't have time to develop and have a short rotation, and yet it's a career high for grabbing both <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's a, a few things. The way that they play, um, small, I, I had to extend the, uh, the rotation a little bit just because, you know, they'll play fours at five, they'll play threes at five. I mean, coming into the game thinking Giannis is going to play some five and d he didn't play, but uh, they really make it hard with you with their versatility and the uh, amount of wing players that they have. So I knew I was going to have to play some wings a little bit more minutes tonight and get some more guys in. And then this has been a brutal stretch. I mean, we've had a, uh, 12 games, I think, in 20 days or something crazy like that. So as much as I'd like to kind of stick to my word as far as uh, shortening the rotation, you do what's needed to, to win the game. So um, I was proud of the guys. And um, you know, in a situation like that, guys earn minutes. And uh, some of them did that tonight. That's just him. I mean, he's always, always ready. And uh, last night, he was running up the sideline. And I was like, are you ready? 
he's like, no, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet, but I'll be ready. And he's just one of those guys who are just always, always ready. And uh, he made a couple of big threes, but his defense tonight was great. Steven, you mentioned the brutal stretch. I mean, this year the NBA went to a little different scheduling format. Normally Christmas is the takeoff of the season. Right. Now you guys have a third of the season under your belts, and we haven't even hit Christmas yet. Do you like the way they did this year? Or you know the way it's been mapped out for you? It's not bad. It's not bad for me. And the situation that, I, that I'm in, it's not great just because I still haven't had a practice yet <laughs> in uh, whatever, how long it's been, two and a half weeks. So uh, when you're playing every other day, you can't get a good practice in. So now that we have this break for Christmas, I'm going to give the guys a couple of days off so they can decompress a little bit. And then we'll actually have a, a, a good practice and uh, go at it. And I told the guys, you know, in the NBA season, there's the beginning of the season to Christmas, and then there's the there's Christmas to All Star, and then All Star to the end. So, um, you know, we played some tough games and, and had some tough times in this first little part. What we still got two parts of the season to go, and we got to make some hay going into All Star break. Steven, Steven, when you go ahead, you're down 18 midway through the third quarter. How'd you get it turned around? Guys just started playing harder. I mean, there wasn't really anything that I did tactically or whatever called a timeout and uh, told the guys if they wanted to win, they were going to have to do it on the defensive end and they were going to have to play harder. And uh, and they did so. I think I uh, put Travion in and uh, he kind of got us going a little bit and then everybody fed off him. MKG was struggling a little bit, but um, he went to the bench, came back and had a big, big stop on Middleton and the one-on-one -on -one isolation towards the end of the game. So it was a good team effort, like I said, but I didn't do anything special. They just played harder. When you talk about how Trey is always ready, Cliff has talked, you know, constantly about how savvy and prepared and on top of things he is. Can you sort of detail, you know, sort of his persona, his work habits? You know? <laughs> he, he's a great worker. Um, always gets his work in, works with Bruce Kreitzer constantly on a shot and has worked on his body a, a bunch in the, in the weight room and um, super conscientious, doesn't say much, just comes in and really pays attention, really, really a good listener. And, uh, you know, when you're in the position that he's in where you're not getting time on the court or you're sitting out games, you have to be a good listener to be effective in the games, and that's him. I mean, he listens during the huddles. He listens during um, um, practice time or shoot-around time when he's over on the side. So it's a special talent because a lot of guys don't have that same focus at those times, whether it's a timeout, a shoot-around, or a practice. But he has a, the ability to do that, carry it over to the game, and not make any mistakes. He has mentioned that at VCU, he played four of the five positions. Is, is there any carryover value in the fact that, you know, um, he has been plugged into, you know, odd situation after odd situation over his career? For sure. I would think so. I mean, uh, playing four positions at VCU, playing three positions here, knowing every spot. Um, and that's the thing, like, you can play positions, but can you play them well and can you play them in a, posi in a, in a way that help your teammates function well as well? So um, he's played the three tonight, he played the four tonight, and then we didn't miss a beat, and that probably does go back to his time at VCU. Stephen, what does it say about Dwight, not just to play tonight with the finger, but to play as well as he did? Uh, it says a lot. It says a lot. I mean, he's... Uh, he last night I wasn't sure if it was going to be a month or two months, you know, based on the way it, it kind of looked and the way it was popping out or whatever. But <laughs> but um, he played a really good game and, and demanded the ball on the inside. And I thought the guys did a great job of giving giving him the ball. But what he did is he also mixed in his his pick and roll game, which is also lethal as well. So when he does that, he's really really hard to guard. And he was a uh, Definitely a force in, in the middle tonight, and uh, he was mad at me for taking him out of the game at the end when when they went uh, small. They went super, super small, but uh, he was cheering for his teammates, so, and, and that's him. Did he say anything during the game about how the finger was going? Oh, no, no, not at all, not at all. Uh -uh. Um, along the same lines, Kembo. I mean, it looked like a pretty brutal shot on TV. Um, how much? 
concern did you have about whether he played tonight? I know, I know when I, that you, you were up in the practice gym, you know, sort of scrutinizing him early. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, um, I didn't really think he was going to play based on uh, what it looked like last night. And uh, he's a warrior. And uh, I asked him if he, how he felt, and he just get, kind of gave a shrug. He's like, I'm playing. I said, okay, well, you're starting and you're going to play a lot of minutes. Let's go. And uh, and he was ready for it. And, you know, he wasn't as happy-go-lucky, uh, jovial self tonight, but uh, he made some big plays, and uh, we definitely won the one without him. Um, you guys really played hard tonight and uh, got a much-needed victory. Uh, that was a small, similar game, but on the, on the other way. You know, we were up 10, and they came back, and we were down, like, 15, and we came back. So you know, it was a good game. I mean, everybody was involved, like I told you, like, a couple days ago. There's no secret with our team. We don't have a super. Yeah, Kemba is our superhero, but we can't play like a superhero. So we got to play as a team. And when we play together like that, we're good. So we can have... I create something like if we play like for the guy next to you and play together as a team like we're like why just scoring balance tonight like, once again and guy we came in on the court like guy like Trevin Graham was amazing for us. Uh, Frank did a good job again. Uh, JLM did a good job. Michael Carter Williams I mean did some big plays at the end also. And and we won. I mean in the lineup, I mean we did a good job also. Dwight was a monster inside and when we move him the ball we play like that. We won't lose that many games. You, you mentioned Dwight was a monster last night. He hurts his finger. It looked like he's going to be out a while. That tonight comes in. Not only does he play, I mean, he just was unbelievable I mean, tonight. Yeah, I mean, he, he was huge. I mean, he told me that was his left hand, so you don't know, bother him a lot. But uh, I mean, I told him, I told him a lot. I said, don't love right now because I got to figure it out with my fingers. But uh, no, yeah, it was, it was big for us. And no, when you play like that, and that's huge. You mentioned playing as a team last week. Uh, you know, if you guys just started to put it together, this is what you're capable of. Is tonight what you're capable of? Uh, yeah, I mean, we should start showing it like more often right now. I mean, don't count really the Toronto game because that was a big, big, bad, a bad game. But for the Brazos game, we did it. New York, we did it. Uh, we did it again yesterday. No, that was a close game because I mean, we didn't end wide to miss maybe a big minute at the end. Came back, got hurt to make some little, like, miss some plays. But that was a game we should have. We should have. So, like I said, I told that to MKG last night. We played that way. We won't lose that many games. So, we gotta be, gotta keep playing like that. And we play as a team. I mean, we like that the last two years. So, everybody have fun. And, and came back, I mean, when came back, came back, didn't have a big night tonight. And we're still winning. So, we gotta keep playing that way. You guys came a little flat out of halftime. How are you able to kind of reverse course so quickly and kind of make it a close game heading into the fourth? I mean, we didn't give up. I mean, that was, that was the same scenario yesterday where we, we were up like 10, 12, and they came back. So, and guys like Trevion or Frank came in and did a good job to put us back and came back now we try to make some plays and Dwight inside was a monster. So, that was a good team win. I love to say that every time. That was a good team win. Yeah. Did you ever doubt that either Dwight or Kemba was going to play? Did you get a chance? How bad is the right thing? Uh, not really. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you wanted to play last night. I think they forced him to don't play. Yeah. I mean, finger injuries, I mean, we all play with it. So right. that's yeah. that's different. But uh, that's not funny. But I can't, I have no doubt, actually. But yeah. I, have more, I have more doubt for maybe about Kemba. Kemba. <laughs> but not about Dwight. Okay. Yeah.